Alright guys, welcome to Dark Creation. So in today's video, we're gonna be drawing power from Chainsaw Man. So let's get into it. So you already know the deal. We had to start off with the circle and you know, power will be looking at our front view, so towards us, so we can start dropping in the ears. Now I want to drop it in the nose. And now we can start sketching in the eyes. Now on to the mouth. And for the mouth, it will be wide open with these sharp teeth. So you know if power will bite anybody, it will be painful. Alright, so now we can start, you know, putting in the bound that covering one of our eyes here. Then on to, you know, finishing off the clothing with the collar, you know, the tie. Now we're going back on top to finish off the hair and, you know, the final touch, which will make power power. You know, adding these two spikes that sticking out of her head. You know, I'm telling you, she's probably dangerous herself. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for the sketching phase, so on to the inking, and we'll be back. Alright guys, so we back from the inking phase, now we could go into the fun stuff which is, you know, blocking in all the different colors. So what you do, you know, you just drag and drop on the different areas like, for example, power skin, you know, then, you know, add it to the clothes. So, you know, then we could finish it off with adding it to the hair. Alright guys, now we want to move on to adding shadow to power. So now we can move on to the right hand side and we could open up the layers panel. From there we're going to create a clipping mask above the color layer. Alright, so now what you want to do, you want to select a purple color and set it to multiply. So now we can start adding shadow to the neck of power. Alright, so now followed by the color, now we can move on to adding shadow to the tie and now we can add shadow to the rest of the body and then we can end off like, um, you know, finishing off it by the jacket of power. So now back on top, we could add some shadow to the inside of the ears right here. And then we could add a little bit of shadow right underneath the eyebrows. Just like that. And now we can move on to like the last part of adding shadow to the hair. So just you know, um, same process as before, add the shadow to the hair. Right. And now what we want to do, we want to go in here and decrease the opacity of the multiply. You know, you could set it to your liking. And yeah, we pretty much um, all good with the shadow. And you know, just make sure every part filled 
and once every part fill you're basically good to go and as you can see we have everything filled so you know what happening next and bam there you have it guys you know the final um piece you know we went in here and just adding you know the shadows like i say i was try to add in like some type of shadow in your drawing because it's really make the drawing pop more but as you can see um i think we did a pretty good job so um hope you guys learned something hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you guys on the next one all right see you